I can honestly say that I've never played a match with my boots untied, but Griezmann has, and I'm not talking about the Sunday League, I'm talking about the Champions League. What's going on guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you yet another video on a strange pro footballer boot situation, this time involving World Cup winner Antoine Griezmann and his Puma Future 2.1 that he has now decided to wear, at least as of late, without tying the laces. Now you might be asking yourself why on earth is Griezmann doing this and quite frankly I don't really have an answer to the why part of this question. I have a few theories that we'll go over but I can't answer how he's able to do this because I have a lot of personal experience with the boot that he wears, the Future 2.1. So if you want to learn everything about this very unique situation, stick around and uh, I'll try to explain it. So first things first, this is the Puma Future 2.1, the boot that Griezmann currently wears sort of. And the reason why I say that is because this is the retail variation of the Future 2.1, meaning that if you go to a store and buy them, this is the version that you'll get. That is not exactly the same boot that Griezmann personally wears. While they might look the same and the overall upper and construction looks to be quite similar, I can 100% guarantee that his pair is custom made by Puma to the exact shape of his feet. That's extremely important to note because if he's not gonna tie the laces, you still want the upper to fit relatively secure, which he's obviously able to achieve without tying the laces. Now, if you're really into boot tech, then you obviously know that the Puma Future, the overall concept behind this design is based around the custom lacing system by way of this net fit system. That's what makes this boot unique. However, it is very much wearable as a laceless boot if you really wanted it to be. In fact, fellow Puma endorsed athlete Marco Royce has been wearing the Puma Future without any laces ever since it came out. And if you're wondering about the performance difference between these two boots with and without laces, I actually did a playtest video to see what the difference actually was on my channel not too long ago. If you haven't seen that video and you want to learn a little bit more about the Puma Future specifically, I'll leave a pop-up on screen. Go ahead and check it out. But the general takeaway from that video is that the boots definitely offer better lockdown and end up fitting more securely with the laces but are definitely wearable as laceless boots if you don't like quite as tight of a fit. those details are important to note is the way that Griezmann has his boots laced up if you can even call it that he might as well be wearing them without any laces at all and the fact that you can wear the Puma Futures as laceless boots explains how Griezmann is able to wear these in a match without his performance suffering but none of that explains why if you're not going to tie the laces why not remove them entirely and the answer to that question I quite simply do not have. Now, as you can see in the pictures of Griezmann's boots, they're laced up pretty normally as I have with this pair right here, but they're just loosened, not overly significantly, but if I just loosen the laces like this, you could see very clearly that the laces are kind of hovering above the upper and not really providing any tension, which is what laces are there to do. Then it looks like he's cut the ends of the laces significantly shorter, just so there's not a lot of extra slack, and then took some white tape and kind of taped up the end so there's a little bit of a plug, if you will, kind of a bigger tip, so it can't actually go through the net fit on the upper or the lace hole, if you will, so everything stays in place. It's the same way a lot of people lace up a pair of running shoes for casual casual wear, which is perfectly fine, but for football boots, it's just weird. Here are a couple theories as to why I think he might be doing this. Theory number one is that Griezmann likes to be a trendsetter. His, let's call them unique goal celebrations that he's been doing over the last year seems to be something that has become a part of his identity. So maybe wearing his boots with the laces undone is a new trend that he's trying to start. Theory number two is that Griezmann does not know how to tie his shoes, but we can debunk that theory based on past history where his shoes are very clearly tied. In fact, during the last Champions League match, during the national anthem, Griezmann got down on one knee to tie the shoes of the kid standing in front of him while leaving his own personal shoes untied. Theory number three is that this is some kind of intimidation factor for him, where he's trying to get in the heads of other players, having them think that he is so good that he doesn't even need to tie his shoes. And that, quite frankly, might be the case. And then finally, theory number four, maybe he's just lazy. And that's pretty much it. There really is no logical explanation as to why he's doing this there's no performance benefit to it for sure I can only think that it's some kind of a statement that he's trying to make 
for whatever reason. Somebody would have to ask him specifically for us to know the exact answer to that question. And again, this is a recent phenomenon. He's worn the Puma Future 2.1 with the laces fully tied. He wore the Future 2.1 during the World Cup when they won the World Cup and his laces were tied. This is something that he just started doing within the last couple of weeks. I'm not sure if he'll continue to do it, but as of right now, it's just a strange situation. But let me know what you guys think of this situation down below in the comments. Have you ever done this yourself? Do you play with your boots completely untied? Is this him making a statement or is this him just being a little bit different for the sake of being different? Curious to hear all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. If you liked it so much that you'd like to see more content from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification. I make new videos every single day. And as long as you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when the next new video goes live. All my social media information is linked down below in the description as well. So follow me there if you don't already. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.